This conference will now be recorded. Good evening, everyone. Am I audible to everyone? Response me whether you can hear me or not. Yes, okay, good. So let me ask you, do you have any doubts for the previous class, yesterday's class? Anybody has a doubt for the previous class, that is yesterday's class, you can ask me. No doubts then, we'll proceed. So here I do have a data. From this data, what I have to start today is filters. Take an example. This is a list of details I have for the result, pass or fail or okay. Let me take it as till, okay, till this pass or fail. Till this result I'll copy and put it into an another sheet. Now what I want to do is I would like to apply a filters to apply the filters, I select this names, that is the editing field. Then I use Control Shift L. Control Shift L to apply filters. Okay, this is used for applying the filters. The same thing in case if I have to remove also, I'll use the same key in order to remove. Control Shift L to apply, Control Shift L to remove. First, let me select the range. After selecting this, Control Shift L to apply, Control Shift L to remove this. Done. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I'll apply the filters in this, Control Shift L. After applying, I want to see only the candidates or only the students who are passed, not the fail. So what I will do, I'll go for this result. I'll take out the fail person. I only need to view pass. I'll click on OK. This is how I can filter. Or if I want to see only fail, I'll remove pass. I'll check into this fail and click on OK. This is how I get a result. OK. Now, what I want to do is I want to view say example i have only few student only few student i have say example if i have thousands of students in that who are pass i want to see in a different place and who are fail i would like to see in a different place then what should i do in that situation so what we are doing here we will use a, another condition saying that a uh, advanced filters okay so now what is my condition so for my condition, I'll apply it saying that the result one, result one, I'll copy this, who are fail or pass. But here, this fail or pass, what I want to do, I have to use this function. So I'm going to apply a data validation here. Go for this data. I'll take here as data validation. Any value, say example, I want a list. Okay, or we will just ignore this. We will just take it here as fail. I want to see who are fail. That's all. This is my condition. So first thing, I have a data. From this data, I want to see who are fail where in this place. Now what should I do? First select this range. Select the range. First step, select the range. Second step, go for this filters. But filters we already know. But now what I'm going to do is, I'll go for this advanced filters. Advanced. Now what it says, list of range. Already I have selected and you can see this dancing lens which is moving around. Right, done. Then what you have here, you have a criteria. 
So before that, fill the list. I have to copy to another location. I'll select this copy to another location. After I click on this, it says me copy to. Before that, criteria range. What is my criteria range? This is my criteria. Copy to which location? I want to copy to this location. Now I'll click on this. Okay, done. Now see, who are fail? I'm getting this. Now what if I play a change my criteria here as pass? It doesn't change. So again, I have to apply this filters. Again, I have to go for this advanced. So it is list of range. List of range is this one. Then my criteria range. Again, I'll select this. Then I take here copy to another location. So where should I copy? I should copy here saying that who are pass. I'll click on OK. So now see, I can see fail in a different place, pass in a different place. You all understood this, how to use this? Right? Did you all understand this? Yes, ma'am. Good. So, I'll give you two minutes or, okay, any of you would have already done the data. So, okay, I'll, now it is 43, 643. I'll give you some four to five minutes. Do this and let me know. Try this because we have to work on the same data again.
Have you all done it? Any doubts? If you have a doubts, put it as one. No doubts, put it as zero. Pass update in a chat box. If you have a doubts, one. No doubts, zero. Can you please reply on a chat box? Am I audible to you all? Let me know whether you can hear me at least. Since you people are not responding, I feel that whether I'm audible to you or not. Can you all hear me? At least please respond for this. Let me proceed then. I'll do with the next data. What I'll do, I'll take this data. This is my data. I'll copy this. So I'll apply in some other place. The reason why I'm using the same data is I don't want you to keep on typing and working on this. So I'm using this. So I have a data. Now I'll take a condition saying that I need a branch that is Samsung. We will put it here. Then, then I'll take this location. Okay, location. Say example, we'll take location. And for this, we will take Australia. Okay, fine. Now, what if I have to change it? So I can apply a data validation. So what I'll do, I'll select this entire thing, copy, put it over here. Then I need this location also, copy and put it in a next place now in this i will remove the duplication data remove duplication expand the selection okay because it has to expand with next column also i'll click on okay so these are the unique values it says but i want to use only here remove duplication continue with the selection done okay so in this i have only two things samsung and apple now from this n I'll go for this, continue with the selection, remove the duplication, done. So I have only three things now. Now for this, I can apply the data validation. I'll go for this option, data validation, select here as a list, after selecting as a list, then what is my source? My source of list here is Apple and Samsung. You can select like this. Okay, so or you can also type it Samsung, comma, Apple, this also you can do. I'll click on okay, now I got this drop down option. Now here, again, I go for this data validation. Use here as a list. Now after, after selecting a list, this is my list. I'll select this, click on OK. Then, now this too, I don't want now. I need to hide it. So what I'll do, I'll go for this, hide here. Okay, because I don't want the, to see this, whether it is available or not. So next one, what I'll do here is, filters I've applied. Based on this, I want to find a data here. Okay, so what is Samsung and how many locations, what is the sales I have, this I have to apply the filters. Now first I'll select this data range, data range, I'll go for this advanced filters, then I go for copy to another location, copy to another location, criteria, this is my criteria, then what is my criteria, this is my condition, copy to where I need to copy to this place, copy to, now I'll click on OK, see. In Australia, I have. Suppose I change the Samsung to USA, but see there is no changes. If I apply to Australia, see there is no changes. The same thing. If I use for USA, no. If I change here to uh, Singapore, it is not changing. Okay, let me say change here to Apple. Still, it is not changing. Always, I have to keep doing this in this method only. Okay. So alternatively, what I have to do in that case. So I'll take some of the data. I have already used the same data which I have helped you out to do the dashboard and we have downloaded a data that is office appliances. If you remember office appliances, you can open that. So I'm taking 
office appliances in an Excel format on a desktop. So this I don't want. I'll reload this. Delete this. So pricing. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I have done a mistake. Don't see. So other than the first sheet, I'll remove the remaining sheet. This is the actual sheet I have. If you want, I can share you this on your to your WhatsApp also. You can refer this. I'll stop the sharing or pause the sharing. Then now I'll go with this option. I'll share it on our WhatsApp. You can download it. I have sent you an Excel file where you can all download it. So we can see the continuation of this. Now what I have here a data. So in this data, I'll open this office supplies. Since whenever I am applying, whenever I'm applying anything, anything that is related to some details. Say example, I need a region. I need from this uh, particular person or particular item details I want to see. Then what I will do, I'll go for this. Okay, let me if you apply the filters here itself. I'll take this copy and paste it over here. So let me remove the duplication. I'll go for data, remove the duplication from this column I done. So I have only east, west, and south. So this is my data validation which I'm going to apply. First of all, before I start applying any function, I will go and set the list here. But before that, where I have to select this, I want an output, right? So this is my region. I have to apply a condition here. Mm, okay. I need region. Region is my condition. I'll put it here. So I have to apply a criteria here. Okay. So if you want, you can do it. I'll just type it. I don't want to make all these things. I'll just type directly. The region I want to select. As soon as I select the region, I also need the name of the item, name of the item also to be selected here. So based on these two types, I need a data to be treated. If you want to go with the sales representative, you can go with that also. So for this, I have a East, Central and West, three things so that I can take. For this, I'll take this also, copy, okay, let me copy this. I'll select this region then control item copy this put it over into the some other place now I'll filter this I'll go for this remove the duplication continue with the selection remove done okay next one from this item I'll go for this remove duplication continue with the selection only remove the duplicates okay done so I got this. Now I'll apply this data validation here. Data validation here. We will take it as what? List. Where is my list available? My list is available here. I'll select this region. Done. Then name of my stock item. I'll go for data validation. Select here as list. My sources. This one. This are the my list of stock item. Then I'll click on OK. So both the places I got this east. Then none. I'll select your as pencil. So this is what is my condition now. Before I start, before I start applying my condition, the very first step, what I should do is, since whenever I make a changes, whenever I make a changes, this advanced filter is not working, right? See, I changed to Apple and Singapore. This is not changing. Every time I have to go to this advanced filters and I have to apply it. I'll go for advanced filters, then this is my list of criteria. Again, I have to apply this. Then I have to select the criteria range. This is my criteria range. Then I have to copy where I'll select this place. So copy to copy to 
this is the place click on ok now see like this i'm getting again if i change here and you have applied a filters if i change to us see the data is not changing if i want all my data again and again to be changed then what should i do very first thing i copied this region and have taken a without duplication and also item because i'm going to filter only based on this first system after this data validation now when i start this i cannot stop in the between because i'm going to record the procedure what i'm going to do right i'll go for this view tab in a view tab you have an option called as macros in this developer also you will have a macros if you do not have a developer tab just right click on your this tabs you can right click then you will get an option here as okay customize the ribbon go for this you will get a list then just give a tick mark inside this developer click on ok if you want it but i'll be using this from the view tab itself from the view tab i go for this macros then record macros view macros already if i have recorded that i can see record macros the procedure what i'm going to apply for that what is macros that means if i want to apply something some functions at the uh, and record it so that instead of using the same function again and again i can set a shortcut key for this so that i can apply whatever my required function and extract the information to extract this information we are using this recording macros this record macros i can give with this macros name whatever i want okay whatever the name i want i can give that name so i'm going to give here a name as lia you can give anything I'm just giving here a Leah. Okay. Now shortcut key. Don't give the shortcut key which is already available. So you know, bold control B, control I is for italic. So like this, there are few shortcut keys which we should not use it. So you have to use some other function which is not actually available. So I use here control shift that I am just holding a shift and Z. So I get here already there was a control. I just use shift and Z. So I'm getting here the keys. Now I'll click on OK. As soon as I click on OK, you can see here stop recording. I'm getting that means there is a macros has already started recording it. Now what I will do? I'll go to data tab. Okay. So data tab. After going to data tab, I'll select this advanced filters list range. So list range. This is my list of range. What I have. I'll select this till end. Then what is my range uh, criteria range? this is my criteria range then copy to which place i have to copy to this place so i'll select this place then click on ok so i got this information i got this information in a east pencil now what i should do i'll go for this view stop this recording macros done right now see when i change this when i change this to pencil when i change to binder when I change to pencil, nothing is changing. So what should I do? I've already I already applied a function, right? Now you can change to anything. See, instead of pencil, I've changed here to pen set. Now we have given a macros. What was the shortcut key we have used? Control Shift Z. As soon as I apply, I get an output. See here, right? As soon as I apply, I get an output. East. Now see. Again, I change here to central. Again, I go for this macros. View the macros. This was my things which I have applied. See, only date is applying, but the other details is not changing. So what should we do? I'll remove this. I'll go for view records. This is Leah, which I have created. I will delete it. I'm doing again from the beginning. Make sure you are looking into this. Delete it. Now what I will do? I'll go for uh again record a macros view macros or now i'm since i'm going to record it record a macros for macros any names you can give i'll give you a scooter okay then i give you a shift y as the shortcut key then i'll click on ok now after this now we will go for data tab advanced filters now in this list of range see all this already this table has been selected criteria range so criteria range i'll select again okay and copy to instead of co in the copy to i'm not selecting one single cell i'll select the few place like till this much i will select 
we don't know how much data we may get so i'm just selecting this range and i'll click on ok now see i got all the details of pen set with the heading right now what i have to do i'll go for this uh, which one recording macros to stop i'll stop this recording so this is already i was having a previous data i will remove this so this is what i got it now i will change here to east see the data data is not changing and binders so it is not changing but i know that there is some recorded macros i'll go for view macros run this now see it has been changed here again i go here okay so i change here to some other set desk i'll change go for this view macros puja run right i can apply this there is no desk here no desk so let me change here again uh, pen then i go for this view macros apply this name done already i know the shortcut keys why should i go for this view macro select the macros and run so i can just change the location say example i'll go for the west now i press control shift to y which i have applied so based on that i get an output again i change this to central i press control shift y see i'm getting the details like this you can apply it okay i've shared you already a data i want everyone to do this try this and let me know whether you are able to do i'll give you five minutes okay if any doubts please let me know put it into our chat box if you have any doubts okay i'll give you five minutes try this and let me know
Did you all try this? Anybody has a doubt? If anybody has a doubt, please let me know. I need a response. If no doubts, put it as zero. If you have a doubts, put it as one in a chat box. Make it fast. Or if you are still doing, reply that at least. No doubts. Tanu has no doubts. Okay. Varsha, fine. Okay. Now, what I want to do is, I have already applied a function here for this macros using a shortcut key. If I remember the shortcut key, I'll apply the shortcut key which I've used, Control Shift Y, so I'll get an output. In case if I don't remember the shortcut keys, then what should I do? I'll go for this macros, view the macros, the macros which I have recorded, select that, click on this run. So it will get automatically updated. Again and again applying these functions and using the shortcut keys. For this, I'll use another method. I'll go to insert. You can take anything. Let me check with this if I have any icons for this filters. Or you can also download it from this. So see, I have a filter icon. I'll click on this, insert. So this one, I take it here. Okay, let me change to some other color. To blue color, I change. So this is done. So after changing this, in case if you want to increase, decrease, anything you want to do, you do it. I give your uh, outline with the black. Black outline. And this black outline, I will make it more thicker. This one. And change this to another color. I'll take this, wait. And this one. Now what I have to do, now whenever I click on this, click on this icon, the image what I have inserted, I click on this, automatically it has to change. As soon as I select the filters what I have applied, then I need to click on this. I need to get all the things which I have applied for the filters. Now what you will do, you have to right click on this filters. Okay, right click on the filters, you have an option, assign macros. Click on this assign macros. It will ask you where is your macros. So Pooja was the one which I have selected. I'll click on this and OK. Now see, I change this to some other central. And I'll take a product here as this. Click on this. Now see, I get an output. Now I change to pencil. Click on this. See, I get an output. Pencil. See, whatever you are selecting based on that, it will apply. Say example, I'll go with the region now. West, click on this, see, go for East, click on this, go for Central. You don't have to apply the keys, just you have to assign the macros to the image what you have done. So automatically, the keys will be assigned. Is this clear to everyone? Is this clear to everyone? Say yes, no, put it into chat box fast. And I'll give you another two minutes to finish this so that I'll start with the next problem. Okay, within two minutes you finish this, then I'll go for the next set.
done everyone so we will try the same thing okay we will say try the same thing with the other data which we previously had okay so now what i will do i'll just remove all this thing condition which i have done select this control minus now already i have a condition here so did i apply a data validation yes i have a data validation also applied now what i will do before i start recording you can give your name you can give whatever you want so this time i'll just take directly i'll go for this view macros so record the macros i give here my macro my macro i'm giving here shortcut key i'll use your as control shift yes okay so for this workbook i'll click on okay so it has already started recording it so i have a stop option now we will go for this data advanced filters so my data range is been selected okay so criteria range i'll select this criteria range copy to another location i need the data to be copied here so i take the complete range so i don't want any details to miss here so i'll select this range after selecting this i'll click on okay okay extra large and invalid fields are missing so because i have okay let me do this once again uh, i have to go for the stop recording because it is already recording 1 2 3 4 okay four fields then i'll just go for this view macros then my macros i have to delete it delete it yes because since i have made some mistake i cannot use it also right so i again go here view the macros or record the macros i'll go for record macros view macro okay so i'll use here shift yes then click on okay now we will go for this data advanced filters copy to another location my list of range is this one i select here then criteria range this is my condition then copy to copy to here four columns right four columns i will just select this much range then click on okay now see i got this data now we will stop this view stop the recordings done now as soon as i select here samsung i should get the output but it is not showing so i have given a macro shortcut key control shift yes i'll apply see i'm getting this okay if you want to change the location australia again control shift yes you can apply this if you want to go and run your run the macros so say example i'll change to singapore go for this view the macros select the macros that is dio macros click on run so it will filter here okay and same thing i apply here also any shape i'll go for this uh, insert a icon okay whichever you want you can go for this now let me choose some other thing okay i'll take this peacock insert done i'll take it here so i'll change the color to green i'll give a outline to to be a blue or purple whichever you want you can give it so how much size you want to reduce or increase you can increase it now what i will do right click assign the macros which one dia macros click on okay whatever changes i'm doing here apple click on this i'm getting here i'll change to usa click on this i'll get change for australia you will get change to usa that i can click change to singapore so you're getting this i'll change here to samsung plus here australia click on this that usa that then again you have a singapore click on this so whichever the shape you want to take you can take but you will get an output so we are getting a macros done with this recordings is it clear to everyone see you have to respond me if you don't respond me how will i be able to understand that whether you people are able to understand me or not you have a doubt or any confusions respond me yes no understanding not understanding say something at least okay see in case if you are not able to talk put it in a chat box yes tanu you are able to understand or what it is okay tanu says she is understanding any others 
I rarely get a response from your batch. Really very rare. One or two people are answering me. Understand. Okay. Understanding here. Varsha can understand then. That's all. No others. Okay. Then we will apply some other functions. We will go for this. Data tab. In this, this we have done. Flash fill I have done. Remove duplication I have done. This also I have done data validation. Now what we have to do? What if analysis? What if analysis I have to apply? Okay, to apply this, uh, I'll just go for some of the data. Now see here, this is my minimum score. Okay, I want to make uh, Rida, Rida to pass. So our minimum score is 31. Minimum score is 31. And this is our total score, 365. In our C year, this one, she has scored in every subject highest. 50, a friend, she has scored every subject highest. But only in subject 3, this is a less. I want to make it pass. So what will I do? I'll go for this what if analysis. Goal seek. Goal seek. Set cell. Which cell I want to change? I want to change the total to which value? So total value, I'll make it as, so I need to add another 4 or something like 350, something like that. So let me take it here as, I want to set this value to 3, um, 355 I will take. I want to change this. I'm just giving a max. By changing which value? By changing this subject 3 value, I'll click on OK. It will calculate automatically how much it has to update. Now see, 39 minimum score, result has become passed and the total has been changed. I do again, see here, for your understanding, I'll go for this and highlight it also. So I'm highlighting this with some values. Now you can see that this value, this value, again I make it dark red, 31. I make it this also, 347 total and my result, your other options that is your minimum score maximum score and average so what i have to do i have to change this values click on this total cell go for your data tab you have an option here as what if analysis click on this what if analysis click on this go for this goal seek goal seek set this value that is which one i4 if you want to change and again do it i'll select this to which value i want to change this 347 to 355 okay 355 i want to change it which cell value i have to change okay this total will change by changing which value so i'll take this 31 by changing the cell 31 that is subject 3 click on okay it is calculating and it has given you output 39 355 highest marks so minimum score is 39 i can see the result and this average everything is changing okay I'll give you another two minutes. You can try this and let me know. Somewhere you try with this by changing the value. If any doubts, you can ask me. I'll give you two minutes. You can practice this and tell me.
okay so now i'll go for the next step next type of formula we will apply i'll go for the another sheet say now uh, i need to take a loan okay so say you need to take a loan for uh, some personal reason or some way, uh, something i need to purchase so i need to take a loan of rupees we will take it as a small amount we will take so 50000 50000 i need to take where rate of interest rate of interest for this is is 12% okay and this loan i have to pay within 2 years and has to be paid in 2 years now what we have to do we have to calculate pmt right so that is payment method so loan taken okay next one i have to say that the rate of interest my rate of interest what it is so duration required this is what i have to given update here these are the details i need to update here now what i have to do term payment so or i can say it as emi payment i am saying this emi that means it is a monthly my loan amount is 50000 the rate of interest is 12% duration is 2 years so i'll calculate this pmt equals to pmt so rate of interest is 12% 12% is for per annum divided by 12 months then number of periods 2 years into 12 months of payment in a year so comma my present value loan taken so it is a plus value then my future value i do not have any information zero end of the period how much i have to pay this i have to know so i will be paying here how much 2000 say so in case i want to know what if i take a loan for 60000 i need to know what is the condition if i take a loan for 75000 okay so this is my situation and here my rate remains the same thing duration also remains the same thing so we will do that so what i have to do before i have to do this changes first thing what i have be doing here is i'll select this range that is loan taken rate of interest and the duration after selecting this now i'll go for this what if analysis you have an option here as scenario manager i'll click on this scenario manager add so my uh, pmt one condition one i am picking here so after clicking on this i'll click on okay now see you can see what is the value that has been added 5000 12% and this Two years. Suppose what I need to know for sixty thousand, I have to know. Add. So I have added. Next, one more thing I will add. PMT two. My second condition. Okay. Again, I click on OK. I need to change this to seventy five thousand. Then I'll click on this Add. Okay. Done. Now I will close this. Now see here, I have added two things. Now see this values. Now I'll just change to PMT two. and i say uh, show see what is my emi it is changing again i go for pmt1 i'll click on the show see the emi it is changing okay now what if my rate of interest is also changing my years is also changing so for the second condition this is my uh, this was my pmt1 have used i have changed to pmt2 i have changed to another condition my third condition here is pmt 3 in this my, my loan amount will be 60000 okay the rate of interest changes to um 13% or 15% i'll be paying this within one year this is my first condition again i'll take the pmt pmt 4 in this 75000 i will take rate of interest is 10% 10% and duration i'll be taking here is within 3 years i'll have to pay okay i'll take it here as 1 year and here we will take it as 3 years this is what we are going to apply in another condition 
Again, I select this range. I select this range. Go for what if analysis, scenario manager. So uh, we will go for add. Add. So I'm taking here as PMT3. PMT3. Go for OK. So what is my condition in this PMT3? 60,000. My rate of interest is 1.15. And the duration what I take here is 3 years. I'll click on add. Done. Again, one more. I have PMT. The situation here is 4. So then again, I click on OK. So I'm taking a loan for how much? 75,000. The rate of interest is 0 0.10. And duration what I take here is 1 year. And I'll click on this. Add. Done. Now we will close this. Now see, I have PMT1, PMT2, PMT3, PMT4. Now I can click on this PMT3 and show. Now see what I'm getting here. This is what my output. I'll click on this PMT4 and I'll click on this show. So now this is what it shows. So I want to see this PMT1, PMT2, PMT3, all these details in a separate place. Then you can go for this summary. Summary. So in a pivot table you want a scenario summary one. I'll show it in a summary. And result in a where. Result where I want to show. I have to click on this. I'll click on this. Okay. Now see PMT1, PMT2, whichever you want to apply. It shows you an output here. Okay. Or I will take another method here. I will take here. Where it is? Sorry. Sheet this one. Now we will go for this. What if analysis? What if analysis? Scenario manager. I need to show the summary in a, a summary scenarios where I would like to show. So this location, I'll change this. Click on this. Again, after selecting this, you can click on OK. See, you have to click on this OK. Now you will get the output. See, 60,000, 12% 2. So PMT1, PMT2, PMT3, PMT4. So based on this amount, the calculation of amount is done. Duration you can see here. The rate you can see here. Okay, result is this one. Okay, so how, what are the changes we have done that it is showing you in this. Any doubt in this? So you can see the scenarios only in the same sheet. How we are applying. So it will give you an output. Okay, so you can select the entire data. Go for the scenario manager. How you want. Edit it. Merge it. Anything you want to do, you can do it. I'll just say is as merge. So merging means it is a bit difficult to understand. So I'll always use it. Summary itself. To show the summary in this place, click on OK. So all you get here is your output. Okay. Current value column represents the changing by changing the scenarios. So say example, I'll go here. Goal seek. Okay, not goal C. I have to just go for this, the values which I've applied. So to the sheet where I have the information. So these are the things. I can go for this. Three, show me the result. Two, show me the result. One, show me the result. And four, show me the result. This is what you are getting an output. You can try all those things. If anywhere you have a doubt, please let me know. Try this fast. I'll give you five minutes. You can try this what if analysis, that is scenario manager, and let me know what you have done. Okay, I'll show you the screen also.
did you ask anybody has a doubt are you still doing say something yes doing still doing <laughs> or no doubts say something in the chat box anybody has a doubt why you people are not responding at all is the class is getting bored fine then so i'll stop till here we will continue in next class okay we will have a next class tomorrow right so that's all for today if anything you have about practice it and ask me in the next class and you can let me know whatever you have about doubts in the class okay that's all today so we are wind up in our class fine then bye everyone